Hello, this is Solomon Waters, a software consulting manager here at Embarcadero Technologies, and I'm going to walk you through a brief video showing you how to set up a new license within AppWave. As a first step, I'm going to go to docs at embarcadero.com where I can locate the AppWave documentation. And here, I'll open the AppWave Quick Start Guide. This will provide me with full documentation for setting up the AppWave host, including a section on licensing within AppWave. Here I'll be able to find all the details that I need to configure a license for AppWave. Once I've read the manual, I'll proceed to my AppWave host. In order to configure a license in AppWave, I can either open the AppWave browser and connect to the admin section, or in my case, I'll simply connect to a web browser, connect to my AppWave host, and click on the admin item. This connects me to AppWave and allows me to begin to administrate the AppWave host. Today, of course, we want to set up licenses. You'll note that there are several options here. Today, we're going to walk through an example where we will retrieve licenses. That is, we will take a new product license and configure that for AppWave. We can also set a trial owner. This is covered in the documentation, and this would allow users to access trial licenses for any Embarcadero products. In addition, if our AppWave host cannot connect to the internet, we'll walk through a process of manually importing licenses. This is covered in the documentation. I will not be covering manually importing licenses in today's video. For the purposes of today's video, I have removed all licenses from my AppWave host. So when I go to the app inventory, you notice that no licenses are available. We'll remedy that by adding a concurrent license for Embarcadero's Rapid SQL product. Licensing information is sent from Embarcadero Licensing and will contain some important information. We can see that there is information regarding the details of the product to be licensed. In this case, I have a five user count Rapid SQL XC2 concurrent license. And in addition, here we'll find the most important information or the information most necessary to, to hosting the license. That is the login account name, the password, and a license certificate number. We'll use this information within AppWave to host our license. So returning to the AppWave browser, we'll select Setup Licenses, and we'll decide to retrieve a license. Note that the host address or host name for the AppWave host is pre-populated. This is a necessary step for licensing. The login name, the password, and the certificate numbers are going to be retrieved from the email that we just reviewed. So going to my other screen, I'll retrieve my login name. That's always going to start with ACCT hyphen. I'll retrieve my password. And lastly, I'll retrieve the certificate number. Note that multiple certificate numbers can be entered separated by commas. So login name, password, and certificate number all retrieved from the licensing email. Host address pre-populated by AppWave will now choose retrieve licenses. We can see that it did indeed retrieve the required license and gives me a preview. I can see that again, I have a five user count, Rapid SQL XC2 multi-platform concurrent license, and I'll go forward choosing to host the selected license. Lastly, I click finish, and that concludes the process of hosting or retrieving a license into AppWave. Finally, I'll go back to manage licenses. We'll check our license inventory, and we find that indeed we have succeeded in hosting or retrieving a license. The process is as simple as that. Now that the license is in the license inventory, I can proceed to assigning this to specific users or groups.